majority of people that attend the events in Brisbane are locals or tourists? Depends which events that, that they are. Usually it's a mix of tourists and locals, depending on the event, because sometimes people will travel around the world to compete in an event, like the triathlon, or to attend an event. Um, and sometimes if the event is cultural, you'll also have a lot of people who might have friends that visit specifically to go and attend something. Some things, again, like I think of some of the big international marathons, for example, if you're a marathon runner and you're on running the international marathon circuit, then you might attend an event in Australia. Um, for general tourists, it would have to be a really big deal. Um, and sometimes those are things like a Commonwealth Games or a, um, you know, a big film festival. So I am often involved in something called the Asia Pacific Film Festival and that re more, more people live in the Asia Pacific region than anywhere else in the world. So when you're talking about movies that are made in India and China and everywhere that goes through that section right up to sort of Russia, um, they will all come to, to Brisbane to attend the Asia Pacific Screen Awards and they're a really big event for the film industry outside of the US and the UK. Certain events, certain events yeah. Not generally, but I think there's certain big events they do. Um, do you believe that Brisbane accommodates well to the tourists like provided by the uh, No, one of the biggest problems that I think we have in Brisbane in particular is a lack of, of, of that. And there's a lot of development happening at the moment which will mean that there'll be a lot more places for people to stay. So we are limited by the amount of accommodation that we have at the moment. And so that's not just for events, but also for really big international conferences that might um, have many thousands of people event attending. But that's a bit tricky for Brisbane. Um, and so, no, I think that that's probably something we can look towards. That's why I chose the Gold Coast over Brisbane. I'm not sure why they chose the Gold Coast over Brisbane. Don't forget, Brisbane's not that far from the Gold Coast. So you will probably find that there are events that will happen up and down the coast to be able to accommodate everybody for the Commonwealth, for the Commonwealth Games. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about that because I haven't read a lot about it, but I think that there'll still be, hopefully, a lot of people who attend the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast who still come to Brisbane yeah. or, you know, or fly in here at least. Yeah. Um, how would you compare Brisbane events to events held in other cities such as New York? Well, we don't have the same population. I think sometimes we give Brisbane a hard time, but you've got to remember that we don't have as many people, and we're a lot further away. Yeah. So, um, you know, America in particular is a tricky one because it's very, it's, it's a lot easier for Americans to go to Europe. It's a lot easier for Europeans to go to America. That's a big trouble. We're, we're a long way away, and so it's got to be a pretty big deal for people to come and visit us. And that's why a lot of energy goes into inviting Asian countries to visit Australia because they don't have as far to travel to get here and Americans don't have as much holiday time as we do. They generally only get a couple of weeks so if you've only got two weeks and you can go to Mexico and have a full two week holiday you're probably going to do that if you've only got a little bit of time rather than fly all the way to the other side of the world, you lose a day, you get jet lag, you know all that sort of stuff and um, their summer holidays is when our winter is. So in terms of those big events I, I, don't, I don't think it's really fair to compare us. I think we just have to stand on our own two feet and be capable of what we're doing and be proud of what we're doing without spending a lot of time comparing ourselves to everyone else. Yeah. Um, in terms of variety, are Brisbane events as good as country events or as other countries, like the quality of them? I think they're different. I, don't, I wouldn't say you know, we also probably don't have the same history as a lot of events, but we've got things that are pretty special because of our geographic location. So we can celebrate the things that are unique about being in Brisbane or in Queensland. I, I, this is really about Brisbane though, isn't it? This yeah. your project. Um, so no, I don't think we probably, to be honest, we probably don't, we're not on the same scale and we may, we may not do things quite as um, elaborate, but I think that that's probably just got more to do with our history, the budgets that are available for us to be able to do it and the amount of people that we can attract to an event. Um, are you aware of like, any events in Brisbane being advertised overseas? 
Um, sporting events, definitely, like things like runs, like those or ocean, like things that happen in the ocean, but that's not Brisbane really, is it? Uh, yes, the Asia Pacific Screen Awards would definitely be an event that, I, and, uh, that I'm aware of and that I am a part of that would be um, advertised overseas for the people to come specifically to Brisbane. Um, do you know Brisbane's most relaxed Other than that one? together really well and I think that they're supported very well by local businesses. Um, you know, and then you'll have a, a big event if you count the bid as an event as when we just recently hosted the G20 Summit in yeah. Brisbane. That was a really big deal. You've got lead, leaders from countries all around the world coming to our town to all get together and I think that Brisbane did a really great job of showing off of how beautiful we are. And I think even though there were some people, particularly in the area actually that we are, it was tricky for them because they had to close down some streets for safety concerns and also yeah. around a time in, in our world history that um, when you've got those sort of events happening, you've got to be really aware of the dangers that might, yeah. that might be associated with that. And so while that might create a little bit of unrest, I think that they did a really good job of hosting the G20 Summit. Um, I think we've got a little way to go before we will be considering an events capital. Um, but I do think that the right size event for the right um, sort of audience that that event would like to attract, we, we're definitely capable of putting on some really lovely events. Yeah. Um, would you recommend people to come to Brisbane Fringe Um, I can't think of too many of these in my head, but you know, I think that you know, we've got a lovely outdoor lifestyle and so if you're talking about attracting a whole lot of people who are like-minded, because that's usually what events do, you're trying to put on an event where people have a similar um, interest or desire or whatever the case may be, then yeah, absolutely. And how would you find a world-class event? City? How would I define a world-class event city? Events come in different sizes. So you can have an event for a couple of hundred people, you can have an event for 50,000 yeah. people. So I think as long as the event does a few things, that everybody arrives safe and happy, has a great time while they're here, and they leave safe and happy, they probably put on a really yeah. great event, right? Yeah. Um, so I don't know how we class as a world-class event city because I don't think we hold enough world-class events yeah. to really qualify. Um, but certainly the events that I've ever been to or have been associated with have been um, really well done. Yeah. Um, do you think that the common transport system can support the United Tourism events from events? No, I think that's definitely a problem that we have in Brisbane and that's certainly something that um, with, with a local luck government election coming up, that's something that everyone's talking about and trying to address. We've got a really wonderful way now that the city speaks to each other from one side of the river to the other and there's been really the Goodwill Bridge so you can walk across but we, we definitely have some congestion issues like all big growing cities do. Um, do you think that Brisbane has a lot of 